Hello, I'm Stan Evans, a realtor, commercial specialist, and president of RSE Realty in Indianapolis. I also speak to you as a director of the Indiana Association of Realtors and a member of the Indiana Real Estate Commission's Licensure and Education Task Force. We're the professionals from around the state that have spent the last couple of years putting together the first draft of our license law update. The state legislature has since approved the update with some good amendments based on feedback from you and the governor has signed it into law. Charlie Shook from Lafayette discusses elsewhere on this page why the Real Estate Commission pursued a license law update in the first place. And my fellow task force members discuss how the update will affect other types of real estate practitioners and would-be practitioners in the state. For now, let's just focus on those with a license and referral status. Nothing changes right away, or even in the next couple of years if you're not planning to reactivate your license. As of July 1st of 2014, one of the major changes the license law update makes is the elimination of the salesperson's license. That means as of July 1st, 2014, those entering the profession will do so as a broker and those currently licensed as a salesperson must have upgraded their license to broker status. That means that you, a salesperson whose license and referral status, will be a broker whose license is in referral status on July 1st of 2014 and going forward. At that point, you will need to take and pass a 24-hour broker transition course prior to removing your license from referral status and performing the functions of a broker beyond making referrals. If you successfully complete the broker transition course and remove your license from referral status, your continuing education requirement will be different than when you first earned your license. If you are today a broker whose license is in referral status, you will still be a broker whose license is in referral status as of July 1st of 2014. And you will not be required to take the aforementioned broker transition course prior to removing your license from referral status because you've already achieved the extra education the license law update is requiring of today's salesperson. But, like today's salesperson, your continuing education requirement will be different than when you first earned your license. The next part applies to both groups. One of the other major changes the license law update makes on July 1st of 2014 is it extends the license renewal period by one year, puts everyone on the same cycle, and requires the same amount of continuing education of everyone. Effective July 1st, 2014, all real estate licensees will be required to take 36 hours over a three-year license renewal period, with a minimum 12 specific hours per year determined by the Indiana Real Estate Commission, according to license type. As I mentioned previously, Charlie Shook from Lafayette discusses in another video why the Real Estate Commission pursued these changes in the first place. But I wanted to reinforce why salespersons are being asked to become brokers. All licensees need the same information and need to perform the same services. Frankly, the difference between a salesperson and broker is lost on consumers who just expect competence and professionalism from all those who practice real estate. There's a companion document to this video for those of you like me who still like to see things in writing. Check the bottom of the page where you found me and click the link. Thanks again for your time. Let us know if you have any questions.